Hello, and welcome to Forgot to Mute. If you can hear me, that means that I have not forgotten to unmute. Welcome to the show that is improv for the 21st century. We have a great gallery of players for you tonight. Uh, our players will be competing for your virtual approval. I will be giving them points throughout the course of the show that will be based off of my discretion and it will be based off of you, the audience's discretion. So if you find something hilarious, I need you to comment about it in this uh, little Twitch comment section right here. That way I will know to give them more or less points. And who are these players, you may ask? I'm going to bring them out right now. I, this isn't a show about me. It's a show about the community. It's a show about Maggie Pena, Derek Martz, and Kate Birch. Here they are. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hey. Hello. 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 Uh, how's everybody's day going? It's all right. Could have been better. Yeah. Well, that's that's how days go sometimes, Derek. Right. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you, thank you for joining me in our inaugural show. Thank our you inaugural... for having us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah true all... pleasure. It's a true pleasure. Yeah. I almost forgot what the name of the show was for a second, but we are forgot to mute. I'm your host, Michael Shambo. Uh, we couldn't do this tonight if it wasn't for our amazing sponsor and host, the Trident Network. You may see them right at the bottom of this feed right here. Uh, they are called the Trident Network. Why are they called that? Does anybody know? Poseidon, perhaps? Uh, I know. It's because they're a three-pronged comedy network. And it's not even just comedy. They, you know, we have podcasts. We have filmed video on our YouTube channel, and we have live shows just like this one, uh, several days a week. You know, we're gonna be here every other Thursday. We have a great show filling in that other Thursday slot, uh, 10 and Pelly, they're amazing. Some of the funniest folks and magical human beings you will find. Uh, I think that's enough housekeeping to get us into our first game. Uh, the way this is going to work is I need suggestions in order for uh, our players to, ha to have something to go off of. So uh, for this first game, I'm going to need a suggestion of, you know, uh, anything, uh, anything that is on your mind, maybe a current event. Um, just, throw, just throw anything out there. Uh, let's see. I, I see chew lots of gum, chewing lots of gum. I think that's going to be your first suggestion to get us started here. Okay. Chewing lots of gum. Players, take it away. And then I got diagnosed with TJM. Ugh, God, yeah. Julie, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's hereditary. So there's not a lot I can do about it, you know. No, I'm I'm so sorry. John and I planned an entire bubblegum themed birthday party just for you. Oh. Yeah. Oh. We were gonna have like a blow the largest bubble contest. We've got okay. sticks of gum with your face painted on or printed on them with edible ink. Okay, can I interject just really quick, John? Um even if I hadn't been diagnosed with TJM, that is not a theme for a birthday party I would have been into. So honestly, it's a blessing that I got this diagnosis. Um, excuse me. Bubblegum is like one of God's gifts to us. And you know, we didn't have to plan a 36th birthday party for anybody. Guys, this okay. is why I left the cult. This okay. is why I left the cult. Now, you, now you're calling it a cult again. It's not a cult. Not a cult. We just, we just have shared ideals and, and we're very strict. Melinda, about please be honest with yourself. 
I'm going to have to disconnect from you if you keep talking like this. She's toxic. John, I told you. She's a suppressive person. You know what? I really wish that I never got my J brand on my elbow. For Julie? You hear that, Julie? Yeah, I got branded for you. You told me that standard that stood for Jamba Juice. Well, so I have no guilt toward that. J stands for a lot of things, okay? Yeah. G yeah. means too, okay? There are a lot of important things that start with J in my Jamba Juice, Jinka Jeans. Okay. Jinka Jeans, Jinko Jeans. All right, so are we going to are we going to plan plan my birthday party then? No. Uh, gee, I don't know. You told us it was a shitty thing to do to make a birthday party for you. And then, and then you attacked us and called us cult members. So I don't know. I don't think maybe we will be uh, having a birthday party for you. Okay. Um, okay. I guess I'll just go to Applebee's by myself. Then. Yeah. Yeah, you do that. Do they have those? Do they have those new bowls? You know, with the chicken, the spicy chicken, Asian chicken bowl. Are they they still serving those? Yeah. Ah, John. They still have those brew pub pretzels. Why does everybody love. want everything in a bowl these days? It's just really convenient. It it feels childish to me. Well, you know, you think bowls are childish. Julie thinks bubble gum is childish. I, you know, I don't even know you guys anymore. Well, I mean, you can throw something out there that you think is childish. Right? I think being a school-aged child is childish. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Definitely. Anything under 14 is childish. But I'm really sorry to do this. I do have to correct one thing. I did not. In any way, shape, or form, say that bubblegum was childish. I said it was churlish, which has basically the same definition. And that's how you play the first hangout game. Congratulations to Maggie, Derek, and Kate for getting us started in our, our very first Forgot to Meet show. Uh, well, well done to you all. Um, I, I want to you know, acknowledge our comment section here. They, they want to give you points, but they don't know who is who. So maybe I did a, a, a poor job of distinguishing uh, who's who. Derek, uh, would you mind raising your hand and uh, telling us a little bit, bit about yourself? Uh, I'm Derek, and this is my hand. Thank you, uh, Derek. Okay, uh, Maggie, how about you? Hi, I'm Maggie, and I'm wearing plaid. That's great, Maggie. So are others. And Kate? Hi, I'm Kate, and I have a freckle directly in the center of my palm. And I Googled it, and I wish I hadn't. Oh, well, I guess we'll leave that up to mystery. Yeah. Maybe we'll find out no, more. Let's not open that can of worms. <laughs> Perfect. Um, okay, well, in that case, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to just make that a round to get everybody on the board. Ev everyone gets 25 points to start off here. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, including our wonderful uh, commenters. Oh, congrats. very good. You're the real heroes. Do they know your name? Um, I, I am an anonymous host. <laughs> have they seen your hand? Yeah, I, I do have one. That looks like your name is Michael. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Kate. You're right. My I name is Michael. the Michael hand. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, for our next game, uh, if, if we can start getting some suggestions in that comment section of a relationship of how two people might know each other, like brother and sister or lovers or something like that, that would be great. Uh, I'm going to set it up right here. Uh, this game is a game called New Choice. It is a game for Maggie and Derek. And the way it works is uh, like this. Hey, Derek, what did you have for breakfast today? Uh, I had a piece of toast. Uh, new choice. I had some qualms about um, palm oil. New choice. I had a full-on breakdown. Yeah, I had that for breakfast as well. 
Yeah. Uh, so that's that's great. Um, we do have some suggestions coming in here. Some great suggestions. Uh, thank you, Agel Pal Val. I'm gonna go with mortal enemies mm. as how you two know each other. That's wow. mortal enemies for Mad Game Derek. Come Players, on. take it away. Let's get some tomatoes and oh. Oh. Fancy seeing you here. I guess we all need vegetables and fruit, even the unspeakably evil. Well, we all need our vitamins and nutrients, even if we don't have a soul. Hmm. How's the school board? Oh, you know, getting a lot done, making a difference in kids' lives. Mm. We're having our bake sale soon. Yes, good luck with that. Good mm -hmm. luck with that without my cookies. New choice. Uh, good luck with that without my banana bread. New choice. Uh, good luck with that without my ovens. Well, you know, some baked goods don't actually need to be baked these days. Like no baked peanut butter cookies that they taught me in home ec. Yeah, it's just going to be those and English muffins. Is that going to be the whole bake sale? Well, you know, with peanut allergies these days, you really shouldn't be baking things anyway. So, hmm. so yeah, you're the one having the bake sale. Good job. This is exactly why I left the board. Oh, Enjoy. that's why you left the board? Yeah. That and the fact that... Uh, everyone told me to leave yeah um we all told you to leave because we looked at the newspaper story new choice we all told you to leave because we were sick and tired of your arrogant approach to the raffle oh oh you want to bring up the raffle now yeah, I do want to bring up the raffle. Well, let me tell you something. 42 families went to Disney World last year, okay? And it would not have been possible without that raffle. And I'm the one who has the connection, who can bring in those 42 three-day round trips. Yeah, the only animal kingdom. Oh, well, I'm the, what, sorry? Yeah, you heard me. They only got to go to Animal Kingdom. That's the best. They only got to go halfway across the Epcot Park before. New choice. They only could go on a raft that went through the river down Disney World, but they didn't actually get to go in the park. Yes. Well, that is exactly what the the ticket said. You will go to Disney World. You will not go in Disney World. New choice. That is exactly what the ticket said. That you will be taking the uh, floaters tour. Tour. Uh, that you will be taking a a luxurious and and lengthy float through the park. It will take six to seven hours. There will be no sunscreen provided. Mm -hmm. And yeah. everybody got that. All right, all right, Denise, whatever. I just think I need to grab my bananas. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. I'm buying all of these bananas. You're buying all the bananas? They're all mine. Fine. I guess I'll just skip out on my protein this time and- There aren't, there's no protein in bananas, you fool. <laughs> and that's how you play new choice. <laughs> Let's give it up for Maggie and Derek. Bravo. Watch it on the bananas. Uh, very well done. Uh, we, I, we did get a comment that somebody was very appreciative of the hand snap. I believe that was Maggie with the hand snap. Am I, am I wrong? Like this? Yeah, or was it Derek? I have done nothing with my hands. 
All right, well, then we're, give, we're giving Maggie a 100 point bonus for a hand snap. Derek, Derek hasn't snapped his fingers since 2004. That's true. I have very brittle bones. Yes. <laughs> and we're for turning on his computer. That was brave in and of itself. Uh, 100 points for Maggie, 70 points for Derek. Give it up for them. Great. <laughs> Our next game uh, is a game called Principal's Office. Before I get into explaining how it works, uh, I do need some suggestions from the audience. Uh, if you can start putting those in the chat, I need a suggestion of a location. I need a suggestion of a petty crime that's not even really a crime, it's something along the lines of uh, you didn't fold your laundry quick enough after you put it in the dryer. Uh, so that's a location, a crime that isn't really a crime, and an accomplice, uh, preferably a celebrity accomplice that somebody would have committed a crime with. Uh, Derek, you are going to be the guesser for this game. Right, so sure. I'm going to ask that uh, from now, you do not look at our Twitch chat. And I'm going to ask that you mute your speakers so that you can't uh, hear anymore. Before you mute your speakers, Derek. They're muted. Uh-oh. Uh, we're all going to give him a thumbs up when it's time to come back on. So if we can practice a thumbs up, Maggie and Kate. Great. Thank you very much. That's how thumbs ups work. I think Derek gets it. <laughs> he might be a little confused, but we'll see. Um, the way this game works is Derek is a school child uh, who has gotten in a bit of hot water and he's being called to the principal's office. Uh, Maggie and Kate are authority figures for this school child and uh, will be trying to get Derek to guess exactly what he did, where he did it, and who he did it with. Uh, so. Great, I see some suggestions coming in here now. Um, let's start with location. We're gonna try to get Derek to guess location first. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, the St. Louis Arch, the, the, the big arch in St. Louis, Missouri. I believe it's that one. That's gonna be the location. Um, what did he do? Let's see. <laughs> um, I think this was meant to be location, but I, I'm going to make this the what did he do and go with a Cirque du Soleil show. Excellent. That's what <laughs> he did. Uh, and who did he do it with? Let's see. We have, uh, oh, we have a, we have a double uh, celebrity accomplice. We're going to go with Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart. If he can get one, that's great. But if he can get both, I'm giving you both 2,000 extra points for this game. Okay. All right. Uh, so would you mind repeating those back to me before we give Derek the thumbs up? Yes. St. Louis Arch. Cirque du Soleil show. That's what he with did. With Martha Snoop. Stewart. And, and Snoop Dogg. Perfect. All right, we're going to give Derek the double thumbs up. I'm going to leave, and you're going to get him to guess all of these things. Okay. Good luck. Sound on? All right, honey. Um, can you just have a seat, please? Make yourself comfortable. Sorry to pull you out of home ec, but we just needed to talk to you about something. I don't know what this could possibly be about. Okay, Sherlock. You've known me for four years now, Miss Brynn again, the guidance counselor. You can just be honest. No, 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 no. You know what, Miss Brannigan? I'm done. I'm done with the nice things. He cannot be walking around national landmarks acting like he is hot stuff. That's just not going to fly on my time. Is this about my trip to the Liberty Bell? No, no, no. I think, Principal, I think we just need to give him Mo respect. I didn't crack it. I didn't crack that bell. Honey, we aren't talking about the eighth grade field trip. That's, that's water under the bridge, okay? Okay. Okay. 
So, you know, I know you're really into yoga and stretching, but it's good for my arches. Yes. You know, it's not just that. It's a gateway. It's a gateway to the West. All right. Mm -hmm. I my daddy understand. has a gateway computer. Oh. Well, your dad probably needs to get get with the times. It's very old, yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Sherlock, listen, all right? You cannot just walk around and not respect the gateway. Well, I didn't do anything to the St. Louis Arch. I didn't. Honey, oh, you, you didn't. The things you had strung up all over it, you need building permits for that. And it's not safe. I was just emulating my favorite artist, Christo. <laughs> I was just putting up a bunch of curtains because I like them. Yeah, well, you and all your other little buddies floating around in the air without a net. Yeah, honey, and you, yes, they're curtains, but you can't just dance in them like that. You've never even taken a lesson. Do you know we who's don't liable? Hurt. Do you know who's liable? Me. Your school is liable. If we get sued, no more lunches. No so the problem is that I was doing aerial silk performances at this gateway arch. Okay, you need to be more specific than that. Okay. Aerial silk dancing. But you think you think you're gonna you think when you graduate, you're not going to law school, but you're gonna go to Vegas. Is that what you think? Yeah, and maybe the Bellagio. I'm going to be a trapeze artist. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't want to call you this, but you're being a real punky Brewster right now. Oh. Don't say that about our Lord and Savior Soleil Moon Fry. <laughs> okay, are you going to admit to what you did? I did at the some Arch or not. Soleil performing at the St. Louis <laughs> Arch, but I don't think that's a problem. Well, it's not... <laughs> Go ahead, Principal. Sorry, Ms. Brannigan. It's not that you're doing creative things like Cirque du Soleil, which is a beautiful performance at one of our nation's most well-known landmarks, but it's who you did it with, the company you keep. Yeah, yeah I like to call them gin and juice. Uh-oh. Yeah. I call them gin and juice too. Yeah. And for some reason, I'm feeling a little more hostile toward you. What? You think you think you wrote the book on how to? Yes, it was it was me and Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart. Oh my yeah. goodness, he got it. That's principal's office. Thank you. Thank you. For a minute there, I did think it was Eli Roth, director of Hostel. <laughs> uh, I, I would have given uh, the commenter a lot of points if that was the suggestion. Uh, Maggie and Kate, as promised, 1,000 points to each of you for getting him to get Snoop and Martha. Uh, Derek, and I'm going to give you 2,000 for working your way through that. That was, uh, okay. that was well done. Thank you. Michael, I do have a question. Of course. Um, so we talked about this before we started broadcasting, <laughs> but every point converts to one U.S. dollar, right? That's correct. Great. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that brings me into my next point, Kate. Um, please, for the love of God, follow us on, on this Twitch channel, because if we don't get enough followers and enough revenue, this money comes out of my 401k and I'm, I'm okay with that for this show, but it's going to bankrupt me in the long run. Um, so please, please follow, follow this Twitch. It's not just us, you know, uh, they have, we have shows Wednesdays. We, we've got the showcase night on, on this Twitch where you can see amazing comedians do characters. Uh, on Mondays, we had the TV guide at noon. I, I believe all time central, uh, but I think the Trident Network or Gal Pal Val might correct me on the times in the, in the chat, uh, but we're going to go central. Uh, and that's just where, our, you know, 
people get to hang out and have a grand old time talking about the TV and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, please do that because I, we need money. I need money. These points don't grow on trees. They're very real. And now we have a previously recorded video to show you all. Uh, one of the funniest videos, I think, of all time. We'll see. Uh, so if, uh, oh, and you know what? I haven't given props to our amazing uh, technical producer of the show, uh, Ty Schrock. Uh, he's going to be the one throwing us to our video break here right now. So let's- You uh, were snapping! Did it. I did it. I hope you have health insurance. <laughs> Mystery solved. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw 500 points to Ty, and uh, please uh, send us to our lovely pre-recorded video from our friends at Family Friends. That's our friends at Family of Friends. Uh, in particular, that was getting the gang back together, starring Joe Fitzpatrick. Uh, Joe and I go way back. Joe, Joe and everybody here go way back. Uh, we all met on a Craigslist listing about 10 years ago. It wasn't weird. Um, but I'm, I'm going to give 3,000 points to Joe. You know what? I'm going to give 10,000 points to Joe. That was really good. He put a lot of effort into that. How much are you putting back a week into your 401k? Well, I, I believe, Kate, that we're going to get a lot of subscribers. Oh, oh, great. You said yeah. you were good for this show, though. Just, I just want you to be aware. Uh, Kate, I don't know if you know this about me, but I am a 42 percenter. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. <sighs> Okay, uh, for our next game, I'm going to uh, reach out to our wonderful audience yet again for another suggestion. This time, I need a suggestion of a type of party you would throw. Uh, perhaps it's a Super Bowl party or a bachelor party or something like that. Uh, it can be a weird thing. Uh, we don't care. We'll make it work. Uh, this is a game called Who Invited Rob? Uh, in this game, we have a Rob Among Us in Kate Birch. And the way Rob comes across, I would say, is off-putting to most. Uh, you know, we all have a Rob in our friend group who kind of shows up to events, finds a way to get themselves invited to these, to these events. 
and they just kind of make everybody uncomfortable when they're there. We'll see exactly what makes this Rob uncomfortable as the scene progresses. Uh, but first, let's establish what party we have. <laughs> um, thank you, uh, Valerie Coca. I think we will go with a dog's birthday party. A dog's birthday party. Players, take it away. Is it okay to be planning this with him in the room? I don't want to like spoil anything for him. Oh yeah, no, he's he's totally fine. Like actually, it's better if he knows because he's not good with surprises. Cool. Yeah, he's he's not the air bud of surprises. <laughs> yeah. That's an understatement, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, but we can, we like can, words, but we like words in this family. <laughs> Big ones too. So who who else is coming? Well, uh, uh, we invited you, Tim, and, and I came. Uh, we 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 did accidentally invite our neighbor from down the block. Oh, please tell me you mean Maud. I wish I did. Oh, no, no, I wish Maud, I did. Maud is on a cruise this week, so. Ooh. Yeah, actually, yeah. she's been on it for about 27 weeks now, so. Uh, we, we think it's lost at sea. Are you still Not getting a mail, though? We are still, her mail is still being forwarded to us, and we're not sure what to do with it at this point. She's but I guess little, that she's that a little means, late on her bills. That the person who's coming is Rob. Yes, indeed. Yes, yeah. Well, we needed a nice even number because, you know, we're gonna, just... you know, we're going to play Twister later. <laughs> Honey, huh. I don't want to play know... with him. That voice, he sounds exactly like Gilbert Gottfried. And he'll be shrieking in my right in my ear if our bodies are all twisted up together. Yeah, you, I, I, I do see what you're saying there. I, I've always thought that the worst thing about Rob is that he tries to play Simon Says all the time. And he's always bragging about every lawsuit he's won. Yes. Yes, indeed. It's, you know, the thing that I have to say, you know, he's, he's a wonderful person, Rob is, right? But I just have a problem with any time that Rob uses any sort of pronoun, he has to turn in a full 360 degree circle starting from his right side. And I just, it's just too, you know. And that's any pronoun, that's personal pronouns, that's object pronouns. All of the pronouns. pronouns. I will give Rob credit. He speaks impeccable German from time to time. Yeah. That if has you, come in you, handy when if, I tried. If I didn't know he was born here, I would swear he was a native German speaker. I would as well. Oh, I would as well. Uh, I think I hear him. Someone's knocking. Oh God, it's Rob. Okay, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hi, Simon Rob. says, "Let's party." Oh, uh, yeah, we're partying, Rob. We're partying. Just Thank by you. virtue of, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Scooter's, Scooter's really happy that you're here. Hey, yeah. Scoo hey Scooter, do, do. you know, I'm so glad I won that lawsuit when he bit my leg. Yeah, that was. That kind of set us back for a while, Rob. That was yeah. a really, really big lawsuit for a puppy bite. I mean, that was, I mean, like he, those weren't even permanent teeth. Hey, you know what I say? You're red foot right. Oh, we'll, we'll get Twister later, Rob. Is that what you say? It is what I say. <laughs> Listen, uh, Rob. Um, so, you know, again, thanks for being here. We appreciate it. You know, Lawsuit aside, um, you know, uh, 
I, I heard you recently took a trip to, uh, where was it again? Where'd you go? Calcutta. Calcutta. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, do they speak German there? They do. Wow. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Yes, I don't. <laughs> Perfect. Impeccable. Well done. Thank you. So, so Simon says, everybody give me a hug. Oh. 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 Uh. Uh. I wish I you... lose. Yeah, I think we, we're we're all gonna lose that game, Rob. Simon says. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I just thought it'd be nice since we haven't seen each other in so long. Yeah. Uh, um, well, you know, how about how about that scooter? He's he's four years old now. He's four years old. I bet he's ready for his next lawsuit. He is. Because that's twenty eight in human years. And what's twenty eight in German? Vente ocho. <laughs> That's who invited Rob. <laughs> I didn't know Gilbert Godfrey was one of the uh, the little rascals. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know. It's that. way down the list on his IMDb credits. It's like <laughs> you have to just keep scrolling. Deep cut. Yeah. Yeah. It was the 1994 Little Rascals, though, so it was really weird to be like a 45-year-old man and a bunch of six-year-old kids. Yeah. Well, uh, Kate, thank you, thank you for teaching us that Bente Ocho means 28 in German. <laughs> You're uh, welcome. I, I'm going to go ahead and give you 500 points for that one. Not Bente Ocho points. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're I right. need to make my student loan payment, Maggie. <laughs> Venti Ultra would have been better. All right. My bad. Uh, great. <laughs> uh, well, uh, you know what? That's going to bring us, folks, to our signature game. Our game is Forgot to Mute. Where have I heard that before? Oh, it's the title of our show. Uh a modern day nightmare, if you will, is joining a, a meeting or a, a gathering via Zoom or Google Meets or a, a, a Twitch channel where you just have to leave for a bit, but you have forgotten to mute your computer. Uh, in this scenario, Kate will be our victim someone who has forgotten to mute during a business meeting. Uh, I'm going to need suggestions of types of, uh, uh, types of products you might sell during a business meeting. If, uh, if you could jot those down in the chat really quick, uh, we will get started. Uh, uh, Maggie, have you run into any forgot to mute problems so far in this, in this pandemic world? Yeah, well, uh, so it wasn't uh, directly me, but I was on a meeting and it wasn't necessarily a mute. It was a forgot to stop video and um, someone was changing their clothes um, and I, I watched it. Didn't look away. <laughs> <laughs> How could you? How could you look away, really? <laughs> well, I couldn't. Um, so, yeah. Uh, all right. We have a suggestion here for our for our meeting uh, that we will be discussing, and that is uh, neck pillows. We'll be discussing in our business meeting neck pillows. Players, please take it away. All right. Well, uh, thank you all so much uh, for coming uh, to our little uh, thing here. We just have a new innovation that we want to pitch with our neck pillows. Uh, I know the leader of our company has gotten in a little bit of hot water recently 
but I think we can really distract with our new neck pillows that have speakers in either uh, lobe of the neck pillow. Uh, so you can listen to, you know, whatever you want to and, uh, you know, fall asleep uh, without having like headphones on and pressed up against your ears. We're really excited about this innovation. Hey, I, I'm so sorry to interject. Um, mine, Zoom is really lagging, so I'm just going to close out and then come back in. All right. Okay, All right. thanks. We'll, we'll keep pressing ahead. Cool. Um, so uh, we're calling these um, uh, neck pill pods uh, because you can sort of uh, pod. I don't know. <laughs> have you, have I, I'm not a kid. Have you? Uh, oh, no. You want some hummus? What? I said, do you want some hummus? Uh, I th I think you might. Um... I think you we mean, need to mute. You mean hummus? Oh my god! Ever since I, you visited Turkey, you've gotten so pretentious. I'm not sure she can hear us. Uh, is this is a meeting about the pillow pods? Uh, if you're not in the re correct meeting. Please mm -hmm. sign off. Hey, honey, don't uh, put the spatula there. Put it in the other drawer. Uh, all you, right. I, you, you always put it every time I need it to flip the eggs. It's always in the wrong drawer. Are you, are you kidding me right now? I yeah. shouldn't even. I shouldn't even be awake right now. You, you know, know how to mute someone from the night. What? Yeah, I, I don't have the capabilities to to mute. You know what? I'm fucking sick of this. Oh. I am fucking sick of your attitude. No, do not go play PS4 again. I, I, if I don't beat Kingdom Hearts today, I won't fulfill my April goals. Uh, you know okay, I think just, we're just gonna we'll just drop it. Uh, we, can we can we at least get to the to the you know value of the, the pod pillows? Uh, sorry, the what value? You know what? No, come back out here. Come back out here. What? Pack up your shit. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No. no. And you know what packs really well is the new neck pillow um, because it you can compress. I have been paying your student loan payments for the past 18 months. I bought all of your Christmas presents that you gave to your family and they don't even know about me. Well, you know, we should offer a bulk deal to families. They're afraid of change. How many times do I have to tell you? Well, then I guess they're just afraid of life because life is just a constant evolution and a constant changing, Frodo. <laughs> okay. okay. Frodo? I, I, I am going to pack up. And you know what? I'm going to take my bowling ball with me. How does that make you feel? Really? That was excessive. Who's going bowling right now? Also, why is that a point of contention here? And you know what? No more I'm having your baby. Oh boy. Yeah. Now you're sad. I, I, should we? And you're never gonna get to meet your daughter or son or gender non-conforming offspring. Why won't oh, you tell mommy. me where they're hidden? <laughs> What they're hiding? Oh God, we gotta call DCS on this couple if they're hiding the children. Goodbye. Don't do that. Don't. It's over. So can we can we talk about those projections now? Or yeah, let me just share my. God, I gotta send him my two weeks notice. I forgot. And that is forgot to mute. Hey, um, someone is a big fan of our signature game. Oh wow, Henry! Oh, oh. hi, Bubba! Oh, hello! Oh, he's got an itch. Okay. Hello, Henry. Uh, Henry was one of our uh, founding members, mm -hmm. but he was too good to play in our show. I don't blame him. Yeah. He already got sent to the big leagues. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm going to give uh, Mr. Ryan Burkett uh, 700 points for that suggestion. That was a great suggestion. 
I'm going to give Kate 80 points for calling me Frodo. <laughs> and I'm going to give Henry 50,000 points for appearing on camera. Henry, did you hear that? Michael, I'm really concerned you're not going to be able to pay rent. The, it's about the art, Kate. It's not okay. about rent. Okay. Which, by the way, it's 25 years old this year, the musical. Rent the musical. Um, I actually watched it this past weekend. Which version? Uh, the, the movie version. Oh, 2005. Uh, what, what's the other version? There's a filmed version of the last Broadway cast. And then there was also Rent Live on Fox. That's right. I never watched that one. Who was in Rent Live on Fox? Vanessa Hudgens. Valentina from RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hmm. Wow. Great show. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, go ahead. What do you think has been the best live uh, redo? The Wiz. It was okay. really good. I enjoyed parts of The Sound of Music, like Audra McDonald, and pretty much only Audra McDonald, now that I think about it. She's mm-hmm. a national treasure. I would say the 2020 presidential inauguration. Mm. <laughs> that was my favorite redo. Uh, let's move on to our, our final game. Our final game. Already? Yeah, already. And Maggie, can you believe it? Uh, we've we've also come to the part where I try to get more uh, rent money from our wonderful audience. Uh, as I encourage you to come back to the Trident Network for live comedy. You know, whenever you get, if you if you subscribe, you get an email notification every time you go live. So just go ahead and do that. But if if that feels like too much commitment for you. You know, there's going to be a live comedy show here every Thursday at 8. We're going to be here every other week. Uh, Ten and Peller is going to be here the weeks that we're not. So, you know, just be here. But that's all it takes to be a good human being, showing up. I think we all learned something today. Are you willing to put in the work, audience? Is it worth it? Let me work it. That's what I say. We did our part. Now you do yours. Oh, you don't you don't think we listen to you? Is it because you're silent or you were silenced? Hey Michael, what's our last name? <laughs> what's our last name? <laughs> Game. Oh. Uh <laughs> Yeah, I guess we can get to that. Uh, our last <laughs> game is work from home is like. Uh, I'm going to need some suggestions coming into that comment section. Uh, I, I need suggestions, first and foremost, of objects around your house or your apartment. You can see them in your eyesight, perhaps, uh, or what have you. Let's, let's get some of those in here. Uh, as you start to think of things that are around your house, uh, we could also use suggestions of uh, common restaurants and places, you know, the Starbucks, the McDonald's of the world. Go ahead and throw those in there. And let's also get some suggestions of some celebrities from the early 2000s. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, we'll, we'll do 2000 to 2010 when those people were at their peak. Yeah. Uh, because you know we we don't we, we don't know the new ones. We we don't we're not we're not up on the uh, JoJo Siwas of the world. We're all millennials here. We're millennials here. Uh, and this game is called Work From Home Is Like. The way it works is we'll get one of your suggestions from the comment section. If it was banana, for example, we'd say Work From Home is like a banana. It's pretty appealing. And that's going to be the best one we have all night, but we'll, we'll do our best to come close on the rest. Uh, so to get us started here, we have a suggestion from uh, a gal pal Val of Popeyes. Popeyes is the suggestion. Work from home is like Popeyes. 
It's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> uh, work from home is like Popeyes. It became popular almost overnight. Work from home is like Popeyes. Unlike Chick-fil-A, you still have to do it on Sundays. Work from home is like Popeyes. It's the best, and that's no law. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> uh, all right, let's, uh, let's move on to our next suggestion, uh, which is uh, Carson Daly. Ooh. Carson ah. Daly. Uh, uh, work from home is like Carson Daly. It's terreadable. Oh, no. No. Terreadable. Okay. Uh, work from home is like Carson Daly. Jennifer Love to do it, Hewitt. <laughs> 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 uh, work from home is like Carson Daly. If you're lucky, Mariah Carey might bring you some ice cream. <laughs> work from work from home is like Carson Daly. It's a shit shit show. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, work from home is like Carson Daly. You just you just keep existing and. Keep plugging along wherever you can get on a screen um, and realize life is meaningless. Mm. That is very <laughs> Carson Daly. <laughs> um, okay, let's, uh, let's move on to another suggestion we have here, which is creepy desk figurines from uh, Jay Capecci. Uh, I, I think any type of desk figurines would work for, for this example. Uh, work from home is like creepy desk figurines. Eventually, your eyes just go completely black. Sure. Work from home is just like a creepy little figurine that one might put upon a desk, a table, a surface, so on and so forth. Perhaps a mantle or one of those standing desks if you're fancy. Basically, it's going to reveal a lot about you that you didn't want to know about yourself. What kind of desk yes. do you guys have? What kind of desk do I have? Sure, yeah. I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's get one more here. Uh, I see, I see Pitbull, Pitbull from Valerie. Work from home is like Pitbull. It makes you want to drink gasolina. Mm. Work from home is like Pitbull. It keeps showing up in unexpected places. Working Work from home is like Pitbull. I didn't think that's what I'd be doing on New Year's Eve. <laughs> and that's an insight into Kate's life. And that's the close of Forgot to Mute. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, you know, I just got to give a big round of applause to uh, our hosts again, the Trident Network. Congratulations for hosting us. We really appreciate it. Uh, and before I, I uh, you know, end the ceremony here, I do have the winner of tonight's show. Um, coming in last is myself. I didn't award myself any points. That was silly. I had all the power. Uh, then we have uh, Maggie, Kate, and Derek in a pretty close tie. Uh, follow, and then in second place, we have Joe Fitzpatrick for that amazing video. 
thank you, Joe. What was that? I said it was deserved. Yeah, I thought it was deserved as well. Um, I'm, I'm sorry that there's no way to distinguish between the three of you points wise. Uh, but Looks that does wise. Bring, yeah, that does bring us to tonight's first winner of Forgot to Mute. And that is Henry the Dog. Everybody, please give it up for Henry the Dog, the champion of Forgot to Mute. Bravo to you. Well deserved. We'll, we'll, I'll be sending Henry the Dog his $10,000 check right after the conclusion of this stream. I believe it was actually 50000 Is mm -hmm. that what I said? Yes. Yeah, don't walk that back. All righty. You're in 80000 Well, I'm going to stick with fifty. Okay. <laughs> but don't forget that that's 350000 in dog points. In dog dollars, yeah. Right. Yeah. Kate, hey, what's fifty in German? Mariposa. <laughs> All right. One more time. Give it up for uh, Ty on the ones and twos, our, our great tech guy. Uh, give it up for Kate Birch, Derek Martz, Maggie Pano. I've been your host, Michael Shambo. Hit that subscribe for the Trident Network and have a great rest of your evening.